Who has never had the feeling to be lost at times? That empty feeling inside. The worst kind of sadness, not being able to explain why. I have to stop looking for happiness in the same place I lost it. We all have a story to tell. Whether we whisper it or yell. At some point, I have to let go and move on. So many people around us and still. No one seems to be able to help. All I know is I am not home yet. Do regrets hurt more than a bad experience? If I don't follow my heart, I might spend the rest of my life wishing I did. Mark Twain once said, The two most important days in your life are the day you are born. Good man. Hey. How are you doing, man? Good to see you. Hey. <laughs> you're faster hey. than I thought, man. You made it. And the day you find out wow. why. Hey. So, how was your flight? Yeah, a little bit tiring, but yeah. I was so excited and... Uh, cool, man. It's like uh, a weight is <sighs> dropping down, you know? Yeah. A statement that gave me to think about. Like you and stuff. They never really sacrifice stuff, but you, but you gave up your job, right? All ways don't to open new doors, they say. Yeah. And they love your style, man. So they might test you a little bit. Yeah. It's okay. But uh, yeah. are you ready to do it? I'm ready. I'm very honored to have met you. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Wrong. Uh, let's do it properly. No, man. I'm very happy, man. Really. Yeah, me too. No joking. Okay, man. Thanks. Thank really, you very really much. appreciate it. We will. See you soon. Okay. Thank you for everything. Take care, man. Yeah. Bye. Overthinking is one of the biggest causes for unhappiness. We all know this, but it still happens to me. How much we wouldn't give to get rid of this destructive habit. The world can only be beautiful outside, but one must first find stability within. We are more often frightened than hurt. And we suffer more from imagination than from reality. Courage doesn't mean you don't get afraid. Courage means you don't let fear stop you. If I want to love my life, I can't waste time on fears and doubts. If you want to fly, you must give up what weighs you down.
this is what suddenly came in my life. Cut! Sorry guys. You twat. Why did you do that for? I didn't mean to. Show some fucking respect, man. You're dancing like a little girl. You think you can do that? Go and join him. Guys, you kick his ass. Right then. Keep rolling. Let's go again. Unpredictable possibilities. Come on, then get on with it. They say life is like a coin. You can spend it any way you wish, but you only spend it once. The second one starts when we realize we only have one. And I just know it only takes one person to change my life. And that's me. Courage is being afraid, but going on anyhow. We may encounter many defeats, but we must not be defeated. If there is ever a moment to do something that matters to me, that moment is... now. The only stable part in my life is my martial arts training for more than three decades now. I learned that when your passion and purpose are greater than your fears and excuses, you will always find a way. I was taught to enjoy the little things and to be grateful for the beautiful moments in life. Because one day, I will look back and realize they were the big things that really made me happy. Martial arts training taught me that the most important things in life aren't things. We all look for a certain way of harmony through personal expression. To me, this is martial arts. No shortcuts, but a process of patience, belief, love, energy, and continuity. There is always room for improvement and learning is never ending. The soul that sees beauty in life, deep within, may sometimes walk alone. If you continuously compete with others, you become bitter. But if you compete with yourself, you become 
better. I am better than I was yesterday, but not as good as I will be tomorrow. With this mindset, daily training becomes a pleasure with a goal. Sadness doesn't last forever. When we walk in the direction of that which we always desire. Doing what you like is freedom. Liking what you do is happiness. It has always been a kind of escape from the world I live in. And it has the power to let my mind and thoughts enter in another dimension. The mind and body are not separate. What affects one affects the other. They say that sadness comes from the heart and not from the brain. So how to train the heart? They also say to never be sad for what is over. Just be glad that it was once yours. It's easier to say than to accept this. Meditation helped me a lot to keep my mind off things that wants to disturb my calm and my positive thinking. I learned that when we are really in need, we suddenly are open-minded to all this. A quiet mind is able to hear intuition over fear. With great pain comes great change. The past cannot be changed, forgotten or erased. It can only be accepted. If you are brave enough to say goodbye, then life will reward you with a new start.